When it comes to our everyday purchases, there are plenty of options, but that wasn't always the case. Join me, Brandon Lane, as I track down the pioneers, inventors, and stories behind that one idea that gave life to an entire industry. This is Trailblazers. Any new parent will be familiar with the barrage of infant mobility options. Buggies, strollers, Bjorns, and even dad's shoulders. Baby mobility is essential. It gives parents that much needed freedom to go for a walk, to run short errands, or even to free both hands to rub your sleep deprived eyes. I should know. It's simple, right? Some wheels, a bed, maybe some shade. Well, if you've ever browsed the aisles, you realize there's a lot of options. It can be overwhelming. Do you want sleek design and something premium from top to bottom like the Stoka Explory, the Volvo of infant transportation? Or do you want some flexibility like the multi-terrain luxury found in the Bugaboo? Let's call it the Range Rover of infant transportation. Of course, the freedom of matching need and lifestyle to baby mobility wasn't always around. So, how did we get from this to this. It turns out that modern strollers shared their lineage with both nobility and fighter jets. That's so cool. Let's take a stroll down memory lane, shall we? Before there were any type of stroller, parents carried babies in slings or primitive backpacks. Hurts the lower back just to think about it, right? Good thing we have chiropractors nowadays. The stroller had its beginnings in England in the 1700s when a landscape architect named William Kent designed the first carriage with wheels. Like so many inventions back in the day, it was designed for nobility. This also meant it came with a hoity-toity name, the pram. This first pram was created specifically for the Duke of Devonshire. <laughs> I wanna talk like I'm from England every time I say that. And it was actually pulled by animals prancing ponies. Not exactly something you can bring inside the coffee shop, right? In the 1800s, the stroller finally started getting traction. A toy maker named Benjamin Potter Crandall manufactured a new design where you could push it. <laughs> Imagine that, revolutionary. Even without ponies pulling, it was still seen as a luxury item for the wealthy. Luckily for the Crandall legacy, Benjamin's son Jesse took over the business and added features that kept interest alive. The younger Crandall, also a tinkerer with an engineer's mind, added a brake, experimented with folding models, and even added parasols to some. But not all, just a few. These innovative features attracted Queen Victoria, of all people, who purchased three. This royal endorsement launched the stroller into mainstream popularity. Even back then, the royal family made waves. It's crazy. Meanwhile, in the U.S., an African-American inventor named William H. Richardson created a patent to change the shape of the carriages from a bell shape to a basket shape. This change meant it could be positioned facing in or out, allowing for more mobility. But that was basically it. Apparently, it wasn't broken, so they didn't fix it. There were no major improvements for almost 150 years. Baby mobility needed a kick, and it came in the form of some serious engineering firepower when a singular man with a singular vision created the umbrella stroller, the folding version of what we know today. This big leap came from Owen Finley McLaren, who started his career building fighter planes for England, specifically the Spitfire, which was the meanest plane in World War II. Turns out strollers descended from a high-flying pedigree. Like all great inventions, it came out of a necessity. McLaren hit the drawing board after seeing his daughter struggling to handle her baby and the bulky pram of the day. McLaren used his aeronautical experience and innovation of folding landing gear to create a baby stroller, a new innovation that grounded the old pram. So what do you get when you combine aeronautical engineering with a love for wheels? McLaren's baby buggy, which folded like an umbrella and was so lightweight and portable that it resonated with a new generation of parents who weren't working on farms or leaving their children with nursemaids. The one-step umbrella fold design allowed sleep-deprived parents to easily fold the stroller with one hand while holding the baby in the other and for getting their coffee on top of the car. This permanently altered the baby mobility landscape, making more places attainable to parents and 
life a whole lot easier. Today, baby strollers come in all shapes and sizes. Some are great for multiple kids, while others are compact enough to fit in overhead luggage compartments for that trip to grandma's house. What's remarkable is that it was patented back in 1965, a wild time in England, where people were avoiding parental responsibilities altogether to go see the Beatles. This design has remained relatively unchanged to this day, and his invention was so revolutionary, McLaren was honored by the Queen as a member of the British Empire. Since McLaren first brought the fighter jet attitude to the stroller, more great minds have made their contributions to the mobility movement. The folks at Stoka were the first to blend style with function when they incorporated Scandinavian design with precision engineering to create a protective reclining stroller seat for the baby's comfort. More importantly, these buggies are lab tested to ensure that they're secure. Safety and comfort? Yes, please. The soaring spirit of Owen's airplane days lives on through Stoka's maneuverable swivel wheels, which make steering a breeze. And who needs a horse-drawn pram when you can pop the top in the car, right? Stoka even makes moving from park to pavement easy with their car seat and carry cot for newborns. Guava Family, a California company dedicated to making life easier for parents, ditched the wheels altogether, creating the Lotus Travel Crib. This crib playpen hybrid pops right onto your back for the baby on the go. Baby mobility brings so much value to our lives, from allowing our bundles of joy to get some fresh air, to bringing the kids to meet grandma and grandpa. What started as pony pulled luxury has become an irreplaceable part of our lives. Unlike other inventions, no one person can claim total credit. Each inventor, innovator, and dreamer improved upon the work and creativity of others. This process has given us an incredible variety of options that suit our lives, influenced by airplane engineers, toy makers, and even bored dukes. So the next time you fold up your stroller and pop it in the trunk without a hassle, remember to whisper a thank you to English nobility, fighter jets, and the innovators of the past. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Trailblazers, only on Shopflix.